So Lee Fermini syndrome uh, is named after Joseph Fermini Jr. and Frederick Lee, who were working at the National Cancer Institute in the 1960s and stumbled upon, or I should say, you know, studied families with multiple cancers and really identified it a clinical syndrome, a, a pattern that suggested a syndromic association. And really all observations in genetics and in medicine, frankly, are based on our ability to put things together and then to make some coherent, you know, to put things that are like together and see if they stick and, and help us to learn going forward. So, sorry, the syndrome was defined and first reported in the 1960s. And what was it notable for? It was notable for a very severe phenotype, childhood presentation. They were focused mostly on children at that time. And it involved um, children getting brain tumors, adrenal cortical carcinoma, so the adrenal gland cancers, um, sarcomas, uh, so soft tissue and bone sarcomas, um, and then in adulthood, the most common and important tumor was very early onset breast cancers in young women, okay? And when I say early onset, I mean early. These are the youngest women I've ever taken care of who get breast cancer. They're in their 20s, not uncommonly. And in fact, once you get beyond 30-something years old, we start to think less about this syndrome. 